Yeah, hello. Uh, I want to discuss uh, Fourier transform, but in a practical way. Uh, Fourier transform has, it, it, it is pretty nasty if you look at it. I mean, um, you see here the formula of um, this Fourier transform of, uh, of, of a certain kind of function times an e to the power of minus i omega t uh, and uh, ooh, uh, delta t. Well, I, I took some some examples, and I'm going to make it practical because I, I uh, you can all do it theoretically, of course, and there are a lot of websites or YouTube films where you can see the the theoretical. Uh, <clears throat> elaboration of it is fine with me, but I like to do it practical. And then I'm, I'm going to show you the Excel sheet. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I took three functions as an ex example. Ft, F1t is 5 times t plus 2. The second function, F2t, is 2 times the sinus, sinus of 2.5 uh, times t. And the third, uh, just to, to make sure of it, it works, is uh, function 3t is 3 times the sinus or sinus of 2.5 times t plus a half times the cosine of 12t. Oops, sorry. Wow. Bracket. Well, basically, it's it's using this uh, approach. Uh, Ft times e is uh, to the power of minus i uh, omega t is and using the Euler formula which is uh, uh, e to the i w is uh, cosine um, omega uh, plus i sinus omega or if you have a minus e minus e w is cosine uh, omega minus e sinus omega okay well and here it, it you have uh, ft times cosine uh, uh, omega t uh, times uh, delta t plus minus e because you have here a minus e also the integral it's integrated integrating over all the whole thing and integrating uh, from minus uh, e eternity to infinite and to plus infinite or whatever kind of range you like. We have ft times the, times the sinus of uh, omega t delta t. And well, you can do this separate in in a, in an Excel sheet, and that's exactly what I did. And that's what we're going to look upon right now. Excel, how to do it in Excel to make it practical. Uh, practical in Excel, how to do it in practice. I mean, we can do a, uh, lose uh, lose yourself all uh, around in in uh, in the theory, but how does it look in practice? Okay, that's where we go to this one, and I'm going to. I have made three separate Excel sheets. You can see them here. In here, I have a function. Oh, I'll enlarge it so you can see the, all the numbers, number crunching. Oops. Well, I have here a function, this one. Enlarge it a little bit more. Um, um, I got here a function, this one. Uh, ft is 5 times t plus 2. Well, what I did is uh, I, I put here an omega, a list of omega in hertz. I can put it here in hertz, and I uh, choose to use increments of 0.1. So I put a list of, of increments here, all the way down to, ooh, is it 40, 42.6 or something? In this case, 42.6. I don't know why this number, but it, it just turned out. So I'm going up again. And here I t put, uh, put the T coordinates. And I took an increment of uh, 0.025, as you can see here. I hope you can see it. Uh, here uh, plus b and i incre increased it with 0 .0, 0 0.025 of increments of t well what i did basically is um, i took the the formula here and i um, multiplied it by the sinus of um, t times the omega so t times omega from that i took the sinus and this is of course the imaginary part is the imaginary part because the imaginary part is with the sinus 
and I multiplied it by just a function, so 5 times the t, uh, time, 5 times t plus 2, just as the function says. And that, that function, I took it with uh, uh, sinus, uh, the omegas, uh, and with the, uh, the, the t, and I multiplied it. Simple. I did that for all the coordinates, for all, I, I can pick a... Uh, regular one function 5 times t plus 2 times the sinus of uh, the, the, the omega times the coordinates and that's what I multiplied so I get a lot of numbers and this is the imaginary part I did the same thing for here the cosinus part the real part let's enlarge it uh, but then with the cosinus, so I took uh, the function, which we had here, 5 times t plus 2, 5 times uh, this, uh, this coordinate, minus 5 in this case, plus 2, brackets around it, and then times the cosinus of uh, the omega times the coordinate. And I did that for all the things. Well, then we go to the end of it, because uh, we have to uh, add them up, all up. Here you are again. I you see the, the coordinate, the omega uh, part, omega in hertz. And what I did is I summed them all up. So what I did is took the sum of all these these uh, things. So I, I summed them. I, I I added them all up here, from the beginning to the end. And I took uh, an arbitrary scale, t scale. From uh, what is it? Minus five, minus five to uh, plus four point two five. Well, I summed these all up. I made a sum sum of all these numbers, and I multiplied it by the the delta t. This is delta t. This minus that. That's delta t. So the, all the sum, I multiplied it by uh, the delta t. And this is the number which I got. Well, I put, to, took this, this is the whole table. Uh, of course, I did this for all the, the, the numbers, for all the, uh, the omegas. There's a whole bunch of uh, numbers. So actually, basically, it's sum of ft times cosinus wt or omega t times delta t. That's basically what I did. I summed them all up, and of course I did exactly the same for the sinus part, the the, the imaginary part. Uh, I got that here. Here also the sum of all these numbers times the delta t, this minus that, because the delta t is all, all the same. Added them all up, and I go to the third sheet here. And what I did is basically I put the real uh, enlarge. I will enlarge it for you. Ooh, yep. I put the omega in hertz again. I took the real part and I copied it from from here from the the other sheets and I copied it over here. And also the imaginary part I copied it to here. And then I summed them up. I, I took this number. I took that number and I summed them up. And then I made a graph of it. So I took uh, th these numbers, or this number, this row of numbers, and this row of numbers, all the way down, of course. And I summed them up. And then, oh, wait, zoom out, please. And this, this is what you get. Well, in the first place, you get I, what I should have done. This is uh, over all the omegas. So this scale here is omega scale. I use uh, omega scale uh, minor. So this is the omega scale, and you see here all kinds of colors, which is here. Uh, I'll enlarge it. Here, this is the, the blue one is the real part, the red one is the imaginary part, and the green one is the sum of of it all. And this is what you get: um, all wavy. Well, I took, of course, the, the 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 sum of the whole thing, and that's then this is what you get: the sum of, uh, as a function of uh, omega in hertz. 
well, and this is what you basically get. Uh, this is the, 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 the Fourier transformed function of, uh, of, this, of, of this function. And so this is a, 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 um, the frequency based a fundament of that function of 5 times uh, t plus 2. That's how it looks. Well, let's let's find out how it looks with this is for for a, 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 a simple line, as we took a simple line. Uh, this, this is the function. This here, f t is a five times t plus two, and then is this is what you get as a, a, a Fourier transformed function. The sum as a function of the uh, uh, omega in hertz. And also put here major grid lines and minor grid lines. So this is what you basically get. So I will, I, I tried this for, uh, let's save this one. And I tried it also for um, other functions. And that is, in this case, the largest one. Um, here, ft is 2 times sinus and 2.5 and times t. That's the next function. So I did, I, I replaced the other function with 2 times the sinus of 2.5 and times the t coordinate. And I did that for all, uh, all numbers. And multiplied, by the way, so, uh, sorry, in the real case, in the, the cosinus real part, uh, with the cosinus um so the, the omega times the uh, t coordinate. I did that for all things. Same for the uh, imaginary uh, stuff, just, just as before, just as uh, I did in the earlier. And with the same function, I took here, two times sinus, two and a half times t, and I multiplied it by the sinus, since it is, this is the imaginary part times the omega, in this case 0.3 omega, times the coordinate, and so on. Exactly the same. Yep. And I added them all up. Again, here I added them all up. And multiplied it by the delta t, which is this minus this, which is for all the numbers the same, so I could subtract this, these and these, uh, and multiply it by the, the sum of all these things, and this is what I got. And in the end, I ended up with this. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Here I took this one, took it from uh, the cosinus sheet. This I took from the sinus sheet, the imaginary sheet. Uh, and I added them all up, the two of them. And ending up in a, and I put them in a graph, ending up in, in a graph like this. Ooh. Custom. Again, the blue part is the real part, the red uh, graph is the imaginary part, and the green one is the, uh, the sum of it. And if I take only the sum of it, then here is this is what I get. This is again uh, the sum uh, of the of both of them. Major uh, grid lines, minor grid lines, and you can see that here the frequency of two and a half appears. Two and a half, and that 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 appears, and that's right because that's what I, what you expect, because my function has a frequency of two t, two and a half t. So I I expect a frequency to appear on the spot where the two and a half is, and that's exactly what I see. Well, for 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 completeness, this is the graph. If you look at it from a, from a further distance. So here you have, this is two and a half, this is on the scale, till here it's five, here ten, and here is two and a half. That's what you expect. For completeness, I also, let's save this one, changed a little bit, so save it. <coughs> I also did it with the third function, and it's really, really quite simple actually. 
I thought it to be more uh, more uh, uh, hard to do, but it's very simple. I took this uh, function, ft is 3 times sinus of 2.5 times t plus a half time cosinus of 12t. And so I, I, I integrated this, uh, or, or I took this uh, formula and I did it in here. 3 times sinus uh, of the sinus of 2.5 times t uh, plus the half times cosinus of 12 times t times the cosinus, since this is the real part, uh, the omega times the coordinate, and I did that for all the numbers, and added them all up. And this is what I end up with. This is two and a half, and this is 12. That's where I will end up with. So basically it's very simple and this is what I uh, uh, constructed. It's very simple and I thought it was harder to do, but this is the way to do it. Okay.